On this 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Crew Cab, we're going to show you the DZ Tube Steps, part number DZ372539. This is what they look like when they're installed in a truck. Now you can see that it reaches from the fender well in the front to the rear of the cab in the back. Now our tube steps are going to be four inches across, measured from here to here, and this is the same all the way around, even around the curves. This has a plastic step on top here. And you notice it actually has a texture on, on it to help get a firm grip with your shoes to get in and out. Now the finish on our tube steps is a gloss black powder coat finish. One nice part about the installation kit, there's no drilling required. You use existing attachment points to attach the tube steps to the body of the truck. And the step pad dimensions are going to be about 24 inches long by 3.5 inches wide. Now these tube steps look nice on the truck and they're really easy to install. We'll go ahead and show you how we did that next. First off, when install, I like to go ahead and take the components and lay them out where they're supposed to go. Now, all the brackets are a little bit different from each other. This bracket goes to the body mount right here, and this goes down to our tube step. This bracket is one that's closest to the bed of a truck. This bracket here is for the body mount that's roughly in the center of a cab. And this goes to the body mount right behind the front wheels. All right, let's go ahead and get our truck ready to install our bracket. All it's going to be is that we're going to remove this body mount and bolt right here. When it's back in place, our bracket will sit in this area right here. We'll use a 21 millimeter socket to remove the bolt. Definitely helps have a breaker bar with these guys. Okay, now our instructions don't show using this flat washer. We'll set it to the side. Our bolt will go through our bracket. Rubber washer, to run it loosely back into place. I'll go ahead and tie it down to where it holds its shape and doesn't move around, but we can still move it back and forth as needed. We'll go to the body mount in the center and repeat the same process. This one used an additional flat washer, extra heavy duty, and then a rubber washer, put it right back into place. All right, our last bracket up by our front wheel. We'll go ahead and loosen it up and install it. Next, we can go ahead and uh, install our tube step or Nerf bar, whatever you prefer to call them. What I'd like to do is leave the wrapping on while I'm putting them into place, or I'll make an opening in the plastic for this attachment point right here. We'll go into the ends of the bars and free them up as well. One thing you notice is that this uh, ring right here actually stays on. Next, we'll go ahead and shape the hardware valve we'll use to install the tube steps. You'll notice our bracket has two holes. For this year truck, we're going to need to use the bottom hole. It'll be this long metric bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. We'll run it through here and run it into the threads into the step off. We'll get it loosely started, just enough to hold its shape, and we'll go to the other side of the truck up by the front wheel and repeat the same process with the same hardware. Next, we'll go ahead and install the hardware for the center, which will be the smaller metric bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer. This will go through the bracket. We'll have an additional spacer or plastic washer that will go between this bracket and a tube step. And this will thread into a pre-existing fitting on the tube step. We'll go ahead and take our fasteners, we'll tighten them up finger tight, and then we'll adjust our brackets. All right, with everything snugged up, we'll go ahead and move the boards the way we want them. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and pull them out all the way, then move them front to rear, however you like. Once you're satisfied with it, then we'll go ahead and tighten down all the hardware. We'll start off by tightening up the these brackets to the body mounts first. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the bolts down as specified in the instructions. Now, I'll work away back towards the front, tighten down the hardware from the 
tube steps to the bracket. We'll use a three quarter inch socket for this hardware right here. For a fastener in the center, we'll go ahead and use a 17 millimeter socket. At this point, we can go ahead and remove our protective wrap from the bars. With this, our driver's side is installed. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process for everything over on the passenger side. And with that, that'll finish it for a DZ tube steps. Part number DZ372539 on this 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 crew cab.